No way, dude. A route for military transport. What is up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. On today's adventure, we're hitting a spot we hit not too long ago with Jeff. We actually found five bicycles, 400 pounds of scrap metal, and even a handgun last time we were here, guys. So who knows what this spot holds for us, but with that being said, let's get the magnets out the back of the truck and do some magnet fishing. So I'm pulling up to see what we got on here. Got a couple things. We are actually using a Titan 2.0 from Kratos Magnetics, guys. This thing is uh, 3,800 pounds. And let's see what we got on here. So, looks like we got this little piece of sheet metal, a piece that broke off it, lots of scrap, and a little couple pieces of wires. And they whip it, guys. So, as you can see, it is 360 degrees. It will even stick to the top. If you guys would like to pick up this magnet, it's one of the lightest 360s and strongest 360s in the game right now. It's gonna be linked down below at Kratos Magnetics, along with my discount called Danny Dead 12 for 12% off. With that being said, let's go ahead, clear off this magnet, and throw off there again. Throw off straight out. Perfect. So I feel something pretty big right here. It is actually like, I want to say 8.30 in the morning right now, guys. We're up and out here very early, but we're pulling up. We got some stuff on here. Not too sure. Looks like a big pile of metal to me. But there might be something cool and old on here. You never know, guys. So, to start off, we got this little bolt. Probably to part of the old bridge. Some uh, iron. Some rocks right there. Then we have a bolt, some wires, and some magnetic rocks. All right, so we got our first big connection of this lovely morning. I don't know if it's coming out the mud. I feel like I got something on here, but I don't think it's what I was stuck on. I do see bubbles coming up down there. So many birds flying around. Let's pull up and see what we got. We got another one of these things. I think these are forms for the concrete when they made the bridge. Piece of metal and a piece of wire. Not bad. Oop, that stuck right back to the magnet. All right, so I just went to my truck to put my phone away and look what we came across. A brand new Whippet, guys. That thing is literally brand new. I have no clue if this was to like an airsoft gun or what, but who knows? There could be an airsoft gun thrown in here recently. It's nuts, but that thing is literally brand new. Pulling up, feels like I got a couple clicks straight down. I see something sticking off the magnet. All right, so this looks like an old like bolt to something. I have no clue, it's pretty shiny. Got a little red piece of flake off something. I bent up now, piece of sheet metal. Another piece of wire, and just some scrap. Not bad. So we got a good connection on here. I'm pulling up. I'm not sure if I still got it, but I popped off something. Let's pull up. I got a lot of scrap looking stuff on here. It looks like sharp murder metal from up here. This bridge is pretty tall. Okay, so. Looks like we got a big old rock on there. Oop, I missed. Oh, that's probably what we were stuck on earlier. It's a bike chain, so it's probably a bicycle down there. All this sharp wire, a nail, some more bike chain on here as well. Then just lots of sheet metal. We're gonna keep throwing off. Maybe we can get this bicycle up. So we're pulling up, let's see if we got anything on here. Got something on the side of the magnet. Nothing too crazy, it doesn't look like. Just another whippet, that one's really old, and another rock. Oops, I missed. What's that rock power right there? Some magnetic rocks.
Well, it's got a good connection straight down, guys. I'm starting to pull it up. Oh, what is that? I have no clue. It looked kind of like a car tire. But I got something on the side of the magnet. Oh, look at that. We just got a car port for a phone charger, a USB. That's not bad. I think that's my first one I've ever found. Nice, man. Got a first today. Just some rocks. You go and check my carabiner. Good to go. Got some stuff on the magnet. What is this? So it looks like we got like a wire or something. It's like a ring. It's not bad. We got a now, a squiggly piece of wire, a square washer, and some rocks and a little now. So I got some good connections over here. I'm pulling up. We got more like wire, it looks like. You know what? That's a stick hanging off my magnet. Oh, it just fell off. Well, we do got wire. So I got one piece of wire, two pieces of wire, one little piece of a nail, and another piece of a nail. Oh, just stuck something big. Pull up, see what we got. Can't really tell what we got on here. There's a lot of different stuff. So it looks like we got another magnetic rock. We're gonna throw that next to the bucket. Make We're making a little pile over there. Some sheet metal. Some wire. Some barbed wire, that's dangerous. And a piece of big wire, some magnetic rocks. So I'm pulling up something. Whatever this is, this is pretty weird. No clue, we're gonna start a pile over here though. Ooh, that was perfect. Looks like we got some sharp metal again. Okay, so, so it looks like we got a gear to something. A nail, some wire, some sheet metal, and that looks like about it. Let go off a couple more times on the side and switch sides. Oh. Gonna pull up. So I got something long hanging off the magnet. Not too sure what it is. Ugh. Okay, so we got whatever this thing is. It has little holes in it, like a bracket. It's weird, we'll take it. And we got whatever this is. Oh, you know what these are? These are keys. Holy cow, look at that. Them are old. I wonder how long they've been down there. What's this thing though right here? I wanna know what that is. That thing is so solid, they don't want to even break apart. One key, two keys, three keys, four keys, five keys, and whatever this weird thing is. We'll use our pocket knife or something to Scrape that off. Looks like a tag. Maybe it's like a, for like a storage unit. Who knows? Pretty cool though. That's a bucket. 
And we got an old bottle cap. Not bad. I think we're gonna go ahead and switch sides though, guys, and see what we can find over there. So we're pulling up. I really can't see that far down. Oh, there's something hanging off the side. Let's see what we got. Little piece of metal. Probably off that big old thing. So it looks like we got a uh, top tuck can or bottom tuck can. And whatever this old thing is, I have no clue, maybe another can. It's pretty heavy. Oh, you know what it is? It's not even that heavy, it's just a tall bridge. It looks like a bolt to the old bridge. Not bad, some good weight right there, guys. It's about five, 10 pounds. I think I just broke a piece of a handlebar off an old bicycle. Is that what that is? Oh my. Yeah, guys, look at this. This must be a really old bike. We just broke the handlebars off. Brakes are still on there. Maybe we can pull up the rest of the bike. I hope so because that'd be some good scrap money to take to the scrapyard today. Oh, is this on something? There's lots of bubbles. I think it's that bicycle. It wants to lift up, but it just falls off. We got something on here. Oh, we got a car rim. This thing feels 10 times heavier. Ah. Oh. Oh. oh, guys. Nothing like pulling a car rim up a 60, 70 foot tall bridge. Ah. Oh. See what kind of rim we got? Oh, that's an old one. Go ahead. Chuck it right there. Oh, I just got mud everywhere. Shouldn't have to do it. Shouldn't have to do that. I just got mud everywhere. We got the still brick too. Go off that way. No clue what that is. That's pretty weird. It's like chrome. If you guys know what that goes to, please let me know in the comments below. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a drink break and then we'll get back to it. So I got something on here, guys. Sit on top of my magnet. Is that what I think it is? It is. So it looks like we got a lug nut to a vehicle right there, guys. It's definitely not to this old one. But yeah, we got some can pieces on there as well. All right, so we're pulling up. Uh, I see something dangling off the bottom of the magnet. No way, dude. Holy cow, guys. Uh, not this again. We just found a, a grenade with no top to it. No hole in the bottom. Uh, yeah, um, I think we're gonna have to call us in. I'm gonna make some calls. Yeah, that's sketchy that there's no top on that. Uh, Cause there could possibly still be uh, a charge on that, but there's no hole in the bottom. So that is not a training. Man, that's sketchy. Um, let's go ahead and uh, set this down, I guess. You know what? We should actually uh, lower it in the water and tie it off. That's what they told us to do last time when me and uh, Gavin found the last one out this way. That's what we did when we were down in Kokomo and we found a uh, ordinance. 
Oh man, guys, this is scats. I do not like doing these videos like this. <sighs> Grenades are one of my least favorite finds, guys. Well, we're gonna have to go over here, make some calls, and hopefully uh, they can let us know if it is live or not. One of my buddies said to call it in just in case there still is a charge, even though the pin and the top is missing. If it still has the powder and stuff and it's not completely gone, just know when you find one, you have to be like as safe as possible. So we went ahead and tied it off. How you doing? I went and took a picture just in case. It's missing the, the whole top part, but it's a pineapple grenade. It doesn't look like it has all it's hollowed out on the bottom. I lowered the back of the water and tied it off so it's got the same temperature as the water. It's got the pin in it? No, the pin's missing, that's why I was worried. Normally when it has the pin, I'm like, okay, at least it's not, you know. Where's it at? It's in the water still tied off. From this side? This side, right where the rope's at. Guys, I apologize for the shake, man. I always get shaky when I find bombs, man. It's not something you want to find. Surprised they didn't shut down the bridge yet. They might not think it's active. I think we got another cop coming over the hill as well right now. I think they're getting ready to block off the street. So guys, we got an undercover and three police officers now. Uh, I don't think it's live, which is a good thing, but you're better safe than sorry. Was it, uh, is it considered live still or? Um, that, I'm not an expert in it, so I really don't know, bro. Yeah, that's so. what I'm like. If you find out, please let me know. I'd like to know. Just okay. for next time, if it is. Okay. I don't know why there's so many. Someone must have just threw them in there back in the day. So from what I hear, uh -huh. it was some kind of, I believe Ripley was a, um, a route for military transport. Really? From what I hear. Maybe going over bumps or gravel, some of the stuff falling off of it. You, you just never know, man. Back in the day, the roads weren't like they are now. Right, Yeah. so, so. You, you just never know. All right, so you have a good day. All right, you too. Is that considered still live just for next time? This one's hollowed out with no fuse in it. It is the, hollow. I couldn't tell by the bottom. The top, the top. There's nothing in the top. I, I just wasn't sure if it, you know, just like came apart over time or what. But you yeah. know, but there's, uh, there's nothing in this one. So I still call them in, or if they're like yep. that, just, just call us in just to be safe. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. So as you guys heard, he said it is hollowed out. All the powder must have came out of it. I don't think they hollowed it out themselves. I think it's just from over time, the top piece like came off and then all the gunpowder and stuff, whatever they put in there actually just came out of it. But that's a good thing guys, cause you never want to find live explosives. My heart was like this the whole time, nonstop pumping. But yeah guys, with that being said, let's get back into some magnet fishing and see what else we can find here today. All right guys, so as you can see, the cop stuck my magnet to the railing and luckily it's not the Poseidon. Let's throw off a couple more times and see what we can find. Oh, it's still tied off. So I landed on something all the way out there. It's coming in, so I'm just kind of pull in fast so I don't hit anything else and knock it off. Oh wow, I got a couple pieces of rebar on there. I can see it's bright as day. I got something else on there as well. <sighs> So I got two pieces of green rebar. Now whatever this is, maybe part to an old chair. I have no clue. Not bad. All right guys, so I got the bike coming up slowly. This would be our sixth or seventh bike at this spot, guys. No, it fell off. All right guys, we got the bike again after it fell down and our battery died. Um, thing is very heavy because we're pulling from a tall bridge oh my gosh I'm using this technique you pull up and then you put your foot over it oh. 
I gotta stop on it again, I'm losing energy. It's so close. Okay. It's not going anywhere now. All right guys, so we finally got the bike out. It has a little bag right there and even a padlock, but I am extremely tired guys. So I think that's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. Today was a great day. If you guys want us to come back to this spot, let's get 1,200 likes on the video. If you haven't already liked the video, comment down below where we should go next. Hit the bell up top for post notifications so you know when we go live and upload. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Until next time guys, peace out and have a wonderful day. See ya.